Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Planet of Always Ready to Check Out My Supermodel. And today I have your April 2020 monthly reading, okay? Both of you guys are doing um, okay, you know, with the world being the way that it is. Hopefully, your families are safe. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it's just, it's just really a lot to deal with, pretty much. But I'm just going to bring you guys just a general, simple love for you for the month, okay? Channeling, channeling your energy and the person that you're dealing with energy and looking a bit into the past, present, and um, future energy, okay? Okay, go ahead and get started. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and please like this video at the end if you do like it and leave a comment if you choose to okay thank you I mean help me you guys help me out so your overall energy is the star okay so you guys can have Aquarius in your chart or you dealing with Aquarius okay but you guys have the star card, and um, oh, it's my you guys have the star card. So I see that you guys are definitely um, healing from the situation, possibly, yeah. or wishing for something towards the future. Because behind that, we have the um, the King of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you guys are looking forward to a bright future here. Um, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like some of you guys are hoping and wishing for some type of passion. Um, you know, you could be dealing with a secretary, somebody that has it in that chart. But I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, content right now. Um, really controlled, really, um, really content. And, um, yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely having a lot of hope for what's to come for the future. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, we have the heart in here. Some of you guys are definitely um, getting some type of spiritual knowledge, okay? Um, some of you guys could definitely be looking to have, um, to be married in the future or have some type of union with someone. Yeah, collaboration and working together. Yeah, some of you guys definitely want to work together with somebody and collaborate in a, in a um, marriage. The Hierophant, Taurus Virgo, um, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn energy with the um, with the King of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy, and then with the Star card, Aquarius energy. So we had Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somewhere in your chart, okay? It's so funny because I had, <laughs> I was turning these cards to all upright and the stars at the bottom of this deck too as well. That's really crazy, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, um, so your overall energy, the way that you feel, feeling is the Six of Wands. So I feel like you definitely want a victory here. You want just like a recognition. Um, I feel like you, got, you, know, you guys are going after what it is that you want. Like I said, you have the star. And, you know, with the star and the king of wands, it's like you're determined to get something. You know, some type of determination for your future. Like, you have a lot of hope here, okay? And with the six of wands, I do feel like you guys are definitely taking action. Going towards what it is that you guys want here. The person that you're thinking about or dealing with, they have the ace of coins energy, okay? So, I feel like... This person could be making some type of offer to you or this person could be getting some type of financial opportunity or some type of um, some money could be coming into this person. You know, they could be getting some type of financial offer, but whatever it is, it's like a material, tangible type offer that this person is thinking about. This is the kind of energy that they have. Maybe they think about giving you something, okay, or you, them, you know, the energy could be vice versa. So I'm just going to focus on the way you feel and the way they feel before I die. Before I dive into the past, um, 
the depressing energy that's bringing the two of you guys together in the future energy, okay? I'm just gonna use another deck to clarify a little, okay? Clarify the six of wands, please, the Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo energy, specifically um, Leo, actually. Clarify um, the six of wands, please. You can have Leo somewhere in your chart, but they could. Let's have a six of wands in Gemini. Ooh. You want a new beginning here. So you have a victory. That's what I'm saying. You have an, a lot of hope right now for your future. And you want a victory here. Yeah? And I see that you guys are very determined to move towards something. And this is new beginning with this full card, um, Aries energy, okay? Yeah. If some of you guys want to complete a cycle with... Um, with a marriage here, okay, um, some of you guys, it's going to be a new cycle within the marriage or within the union, okay, so that the hierophant, and we have the world card, okay, could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus, okay, same hierophant here, all right, yeah, I feel like somebody wishes it's definitely going to be fulfilled here when this cycle is incomplete, like, a cycle, a phase already ended, and that's going to be a new cycle that starts, okay, with this, um, with the world card and the full coming out. Yeah, new cycle. Oh my goodness, this is a twin flame relationship. The full was behind here. Yeah. The um, the high priestess, the high priestess, and the um, the hierophant are lovers. <laughs> okay, they're definitely lovers. It's a twin flame relationship, you guys. And I feel like you guys are definitely entering a new phase in your twin flame relationship here. Could we go with a Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, or Aries person? Aries or Aquarius. Okay. Now, the way that your person is thinking about the feeling here is the Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify that. Yeah, you just want a new start. Um, and I feel like you're moving towards that, which you really want. You want this fresh beginning here. They hit the three of wands. So I feel like they, they're definitely, um, I feel like they, they basically planning for the future here, okay? So that's probably what I was seeing with this King of Wands energy here, okay? Because the King of Wands energy is all about, like, planning for the future, um, passionate, you know, passionate energy, but mostly, like, future energy. Like, this is what I want. Like, if you, if I say that, if I was to draw a card to like describe your person and we get the king of um the king of wands, this is telling me that you know this person is definitely like marriage material, like this person wants a future with you, like they see you in their future pretty much. You know, unlike the king of wands, not unlike the knight of wands, you know, or any of the knights or the um the pages, you know, the king, he's just he knows what it is that he wants, you know. By the time you reach king status, you should be fully mature, okay? That's what I'm saying. But I feel like this person is definitely getting some type of um, financial opportunity or something that's coming in for this person, like some type of money that's going to help them plot and plan and move, you know, towards the next phase that they have, okay? So this person is definitely making moves here. Um, I don't see them sitting down resting their laurels. Like, they're pretty much doing what it is they have to do, okay? And they have, probably have something to do with finances, but whatever it is that this person is doing, they definitely making these moves here, okay? And they taking their time and they plotting and they, you know, planning and taking the next steps forward here, okay? That's what the career wants is all about. Could be dealing with the Aries or Sagittarius or somebody that has some signs in that chart, but I feel like things are definitely going to be balanced out. If there's a legal situation that this person is dealing with, I feel like it's going to be balanced out. Maybe there's some type of money that this person needs to get to put up for some type of legal, um, some type of legal situation or something like that, but I feel like it's a job opportunity with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles together. Like I feel like it's some type of job opportunity or something that this, some type of opportunity or money that's coming into this person that's going to help them out. Okay. Um, yeah, I do see this person definitely has a relationship on their mind with the two of um pen, with the two of cups here could be doing Scorpio Cancer Pisces or somebody that has that in that chart they're definitely done thinking about a relationship here um and giving equally in a relationship okay giving their share putting their fair share in so I feel like um maybe this person wasn't able to provide financially or give 
something in the past and now they thinking about that's what they want to do now they want to give equally in the situation okay so in the past energy we have the three of wands again so it's the same three of wands so i feel like this is this person's energy okay because this came up i need to get person's feelings even though this, if this is your feelings you can always reverse the energy okay but um in the past i see somebody was definitely um plotting and planning strategizing with the scene um with the three of wands okay you know trying to make some type of progress Within a situation, so this person is a mover. I feel. Oh, I'm sorry, Boo Boo. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, look at my little doggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm introducing her, but I accidentally knocked the car onto her head. She is. She looked up like, "Bitch, what you doing?" That look. I'm sorry. Let me have a look. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Okay. I didn't mean to hit you in the head with the card. Sorry. Go ahead, lay back down. I got her on the towel because she didn't beat her now. And I don't have those um those doggy pads that you know I'm supposed to get. I didn't go out and buy those yet. So right now she just laying on my lap in the towel and heat, I guess. That's what the internet said she need. Well she just chilling out right now. Um, so back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, okay, two of wands. So the two of wands came out clarifying the three of wands. I was confused for a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, the two of wands definitely. So this person is definitely plotting and planning, okay, and strategizing in the past. Okay, so this person definitely had a choice that they needed to make. Um, in order to progress forward in the future, but the two of wands, it's like they're at this threshold and they have one wand here and one wand here. So which way is they going to go? And I feel like it has something to do with, um, I feel like this person definitely has a lot of drive, especially with this chariot coming out. But I feel like, um, it has something to do with moving forward with something. Okay. Um, I don't know what was on this person's mind, you know, in our lives, but you know, it has something to do with moving forward with something. Could be dealing with the cancer. Um, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or somebody that got those signs in their chart, possibly. Okay, so that's what I see for the past energy and then for the present. Energy that's bringing the two of you guys together is, you know, memories of each other um, and reconciliation, pretty much. Clarify the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups, please, for the present energy. That's bringing Gemini and that person together. Yeah, definitely making an effort here. Oh, here we go. Speaking of the Knight of Wands, I spoke him up. But see, he's this person is coming in as a knight, but at the end of the day, is he really wishing that he could be a king? Or this is what's going to happen. It's, maybe that's what's going to happen. But I feel like this person is definitely coming in. Um, I feel like this person definitely want to reconcile if you if the two of you aren't together or whatever or whatever happened. This person definitely is making an effort in the situation with you, okay? Um, this is definitely somebody who you had a past connection with. I clearly see that somebody that you already know, somebody you're already familiar with, okay, that you're working on a situation with or this person is putting an effort with you. And I feel like there's a lot of passion. This person definitely want to come in in a passionate way and woo you, okay? Um, and when I say passion, I mean fucking, okay? Let's just keep it real. We grown here. The person who wanna fuck, okay? And that's that's what that is. That's what that's about. But I feel like there's a need for this person to have patience though before they come in and you know, start requesting all of that, okay? Um, or I feel like there's a need for this person's energy to balance out, like maybe the energy is too much for somebody to handle and they just need to balance out that energy, okay? Could be dealing with Leo Sagittarius, um, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's the energy that's bringing the two of you guys together. And I feel like you want a victory here as well. Okay, and you're thinking about starting new in this situation. And I feel like this person is definitely like possibly, you know, making an attempt to, um, yeah, make an attempt to take an action in this in a relationship. Okay, especially if you're in a situation where you want to move move away. I feel like this person definitely. You know, they feel like you're connected to them, like you that soulmate. Like, 
I don't know, with the Six of Cups, I'm always feeling like this is just a um, deeply, deeply personal connection. And I feel like this person is definitely making an effort, you know, to work on the situation with you. What is this? Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. So for the future energy, we have the world card, okay? Gemini energy. So we, this is the second time we've seen this card. This is the first time we've seen this. We've seen this card when I was shuffling, okay? Gemini energy again. So, um, in the in the end, okay, the future energy um, is a completion of a cycle. You know, I feel like there's a, about to be a new cycle here. You know, things are transitioning. There's going to be a transition in the situation or a completion here. Clarify the world card. Yeah, we have the seven of swords. So there's definitely going to be some type of transition. Um, due to, yeah, something that's hidden here. It's something that's secretly, something that's hidden, um, something that's secretly hidden. And I feel like there's going to be a conversation that's had about it, okay? Uh, when I see these two cards together, that's just telling me that it's not letting me know everything that's going on. Because, you know, sometimes when you say too much, um, oh my God, they tell me a lot, but... Like, when you say too much, you can alter a lot of things. Like, and I don't want to be the one that, I mean, even though I'm the deliverer, it's just like, okay, yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of sadness here. And there's somebody moving in a separate way. Somebody wants to manifest love here. With that twin flame. Somebody with that twin flame. Look, I'm going to show you this. And the star came like my thought again. So, we have the, um... Seven of Swords and the Moon card, clarifying the world. So the Seven of Swords and the Moon card mean that there's just something secretive going on. And then I showed you the, um, the Eight of Wands. So this is definitely like secret communication or somebody is secretly communicating with somebody or texting. Um, maybe or the internet, you know, so maybe somebody is in somebody's DMs or something like that. Okay. Um, but I feel like this is like fast communication. So it's like... Yeah, this is quick communication. But whatever this is going on, I feel like there's going to be um, some type of separation here. Okay, with the um, with the three of hearts. Yeah, it's the... Oh, I can't say I said three of hearts. The motherfucking three of swords and the justice card. Okay, um, they could definitely be... Um, somebody could be separated due to, some, due to some type of legal situation here. Okay. Um, yeah, due to some type of legal situation that could be... A separation okay um and i feel like somebody is definitely sad okay regretful with the five of cups and the page of wands and just you know they sad and regretful about the message that they received or sad about um sad and regret you know having to take a having to move on or having to look forward because i feel like with the page of wands like whoever's in this page of wands energy in the future energy this sadness is behind them. You feel me? Like, I feel like this person is definitely taking the step onto their new journey here, okay? To their new passionate journey. And then we have um, the magician and we have the ace of ace of cups. So somebody's definitely trying to manifest a new love situation or manifest a person that they're in love with, okay? Um, with the ace of cups and the magician. And then with the... Um, with the two of pentacles, I see that things are definitely going to be balanced out. And then, as you can see, like, they have the affinity symbol here. And this always symbolizes a twin flame relationship. And as I said before, when I said uh, we have the high priestess here. And I think I showed it to you already. But the high priestess and the, um, you know, I think I put it back in the deck. But the high priestess and the high friend, you know, a twin flame situation. And then I kept saying soulmate. You know, this person is somebody that you already know that they put in the effort and working hard in the situation. So I feel like there's definitely a cycle coming, you know, a change coming in the situation. Like when you see the world card, it doesn't mean that there's going to be destruction because I really don't see like a bad change. I do see changes for the good, even though people have to let go of past hurts and um, it could be past hurts that you guys are holding on to or hurtful emotions or hurtful things that you guys may be saying to each other or something like that you need to let go. Maybe those are the things that's going to be changing, you know. Could be dealing for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Libra, 
Pisces and Cancer and Gemini. Okay, but I do see communication coming. Okay, let me see what's behind the communication. Yeah, and I feel like whatever this is that you find out, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to have strength with the um the strength card here. Okay, the strength and courage to either communicate this to somebody, or the strength and courage once you hear this hear the message come to you. Okay, um, like I said before, I don't know if it's a message that you're gonna be hearing, um, or because I did say that somebody's gonna feel regret and sorrow. Instead, but whatever this is, is a conversation that must be had. Um, apparently, could be done with the Leo. Okay. Yeah. And then look, we have the star card. So I feel like that it's time for you guys to have hope. Okay, you have hope and faith here. We have the star as your overall energy as well. So I feel like it's saying for you guys to have a hope and faith in the situation. Hang on. Um, hang on to the hope and hang on to the faith because even though it's a burden, you're going to get your victory. And the seven of, seven, I mean the six of um, wands is coming out again. So it's saying for you guys to hold on, okay, and have faith even though it's just a burden here. Here we go. Look. The same fucking cards coming out. I can't make this up. Six of wands. Six of wands. This is your overall, this is your energy from the beginning, okay? Keep on going because you want to get the victory in this new beginning that you want, okay? Even though it may seem like you're hitting a brick wall, it's going to happen for you, okay? You just need to have faith, okay? So we're dealing with Aquarius or Scope, um, Aries, or Sagittarius person. So the advice that you guys got was calling in your soulmate. And then I say if the soulmate situation, somebody. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Then I say that somebody was manifesting love with the, uh, let me show you. I hope I ain't put a two fall back in the deck. With the magician. Hold up. With the magician card and the ace of cups, manif manifest. Manifest. Call it in your soulmate. This is what this is about. Calling your soulmate and manifesting your love. Okay, it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you guys together. And so we have past life relationship. I said that with the Six of Cups. I was like, this is somebody that you already know. You know, you have known each other before. Yeah, this is your twin flame. You know, or your soulmate, whatever you identify with. This is your other half. Your soul partner. Then we have um, let go of control issues. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally. So some of you guys definitely need to let go of control issues. Some of you guys may want to control the whole situation from A to B, you know, and I definitely can see that with, um, you know, plot, planning, and strategizing, you know, with this um, three of wands. And there's nothing wrong with plot, planning, and strategizing, you know, to move forward because you definitely want to have, you know, some type of game plan, you know, before you move forward. But you can't control every single detail. You can't control every single thing. You just have to let things play out as they may, Okay. Um, so just let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then at the break of this one, we got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations, okay? This is also a twin flame card for me. I don't know why. When I see keep an open mind, I'm always thinking twin flame. I don't know why, because when I do my twin flame readings or my readings or my divine masculine, I get this. Keep an open mind. So that's why I always, you know, symbolize that with that. I'm sorry. That's just for me. I don't know. And then for your um, spiritual message, it says, um, oh, it's upside down, okay. It says, okay, the gate of the Lord is a strong fortress. The, um, hold up, I'm sorry, because it's so small. The gate of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly heart to him and, and you're safe. Oh, okay. So it says, The faith, oh, the, 
The gate of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly runs to him and and are safe. Proverbs 11, 11. Oh my God. Y'all. Proverbs 11, 11. That's what it's saying on here. And I've got this thing all the posts in my eyes because you know I can't read without my glasses all that well. But it says the... Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I only want to read this scripture. Um, hopefully it's coming in clear for you guys. But you guys might want to read the scripture. And it says 11, 11 here. You definitely know the twin flame situation. But I feel like what this is basically saying, other than bringing out the attention of the twin flame situation, um, I'm feeling like it's a saying for you guys to... Um, be strong in the situation, uh, whatever the situation is. Have faith. That's what I kept saying to you guys. Like, you guys definitely need to have faith, okay, and hope. And, you know, pray to God all the time because um, it's saying that you will be safe and protected, you know, in this situation. So, um, yeah, I feel like you should seek the refuge of God and continue to pray on the situation, you know about a decision if you need more clarity but you know I feel like you guys just definitely need to have faith in God and you know things are definitely going to be working out in your life the way that it should be okay so that is all that I have for you guys um please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so like the video if you do and comment if you want to leave any comments and I'll see you guys in the next one